All right, welcome everybody to this lesson. Uh, we're just gonna get started with the Unity UI system and the Storyboard UI Kit, which is a great asset that we uploaded to the Unity App Store. We work with our custom Unity uh, UI, which is dependent on our custom event system. So right now we just wanna work with a standard Unity UI system, and we're just gonna build everything from scratch. I mean, we're gonna try to work with band, with standard band, with standard images, with standard canvas. So first, what do we mean by canvas? If you go here and create a new UI element by going here, for example, create a new button, just gonna create a new canvas. And notice the canvas here uh, got something called uh, anchor point, or let me say the pivot point. We have pivot point and we have something called anchors and also, we have uh, basically uh, scale, and we have uh, uh, width and height, and we have position. But here we have something new. We have something called rig transform. Here in the background, for example, we have transform game object, and here inside the canvas we have something called rig transform. And everything inside this canvas must be a rig transform. So if you go to the band here, you can see the band is rig transform. Uh, the text here is Rick transform. So when you work with Canvas, everything inside the game, uh, Canvas must be a Rick transform component. And Rick transform is just 2D game object. So if you go 3D and you click L on the keyboard, just move this way and this way, you can see just uh, a 2D game object. You can see it here. So, but the main features of the Canvas, let's just go back to 2D mode, the main features of Canvas is the pivot and anchoring and the responsive the responsiveness so right now let's just go for example to uh, the button here uh, and you can move the button here notes when you move the button we have some sort of uh, some sort of anchoring and this item is th there is a relationship between the pivot point which is here the blue point here in the middle this point and there's a relationship between this pivot point and the anchoring and what do we mean by anchoring do you see these four uh, gizmos here the four triangles here these are known as gizmos and these are the anchors and they are anchoring for this item they are anchors for this element inside its parent so what do we mean by that here the button is child of the canvas the text here is child of button so when, once we use anchoring we anchor this item for its parent so we anchor this item inside its parent like if you go for example to this button here and just want to move these uh, you know these anchor to the border of this item okay so I just went to the button here and I moved the anchors okay to the border of the element itself and this means when we're talking about anchoring we mean by that that this element gonna be scaled uh, uh, gonna be resized we have something called resize we have something called scale so generally we don't work with scale we work with resizing so we talk about resizing we talk about uh, the width and height and we're talking about scale it's different approach normally we don't work with scale inside the UI inside the rig transform so I just anchored this this element to its border okay to its border so this is gonna make it responsive so in case you wanna uh, in case you wanna uh, you know minimize the screen maximize the screen this game object will be responsive in your game so this is a really great feature inside uh, inside the anchoring system here in Unity. So the same thing inside this element. For example, if I go to the text here, and you can see the text is anchored uh, to the border of the button. So you can you can notice that the text here is anchored to the button, and the button is anchored to itself. So what about if we anchor the button here, which is a rig transform component, we anchor it to the bearing. So if I come here and here, and if I anchor it to the, its bearing, let's see what's gonna happen. So once you, once you anchor the 
element, the button, for example, to its parent, which is the canvas, there, there, there must be a fixed border. So there is some some kind of the object is is resizable uh, uh, with a ratio for its parent, but there is a fixed border between this area and this area. So there is some sort of border. This is another case of uh, you know uh, another case with using the anchor anchor element uh, with its uh, with, with it within its parent to the border of its parent so most of the time to make your life easier uh, put these uh, anchors to the element in the border uh, itself to make it responsive to take a, a percentage of its parent so this is the way that you can uh, test your UI element by resizing and uh, as you can see here other option for text here, we have something called uh, best fit. Notice here when we uh, scroll a little bit, when we, when we resize the game, when we make it bigger, you can see uh, we have an option here called best fit. What do we mean by that? If you select this option, you can see that this is the best fit of the, of the text. You resize it a little bit, you can see uh, the, the font size and the, is best fitted, as you can see here. So this is something other thing related to the text but right now I just I, I'm not gonna work with text right now I just want to work with this element and just I'm trying to explain anchoring to you another thing here we got for the band for example we got see you're gonna see here in the middle we have something called pivot point and this pivot point is locked by default so you can come for example to the center here and move this pivot point for example here and you can come to each of the corners here for this item if you come to this point and take a straight line from it you can move the item so you can see we are rotating the item uh, uh, based on its pivot point and this is a great feature you can make animation about that so you can move this anchor point anywhere inside the object or put it outside so once you put it outside uh, which is just uh, a rare you know we didn't use this regularly there's some certain cases we put this some sort of animation you can put this outside uh the the pivot point outside the game object but most of the cases guys you we put this uh pivot point in the middle of the game object so uh you have here a great panel you can come here and uh, once you click for example i want to center the anchor to the center you're just going to center them in the bearing so here uh, the anchor going to be in the center of the beard, all right? And if you click Alt on the same panel, if you click Alt on the keyboard, okay, you're just going to get another option. This option is for the pivot point. So here we're trying to centralize the pivot point in the middle, but since the pivot point is not in the center of game object, so it must be in the middle here. So let's put it here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which means this element is in the center of uh, this pivot point in the middle of the element. All right. So I can come to the band, for example, and just reset it here. Okay. So this is basically uh, uh, the difference between, uh, you know, the element here. You can, for example, if, if you want to put an element to the top of the screen, you click here. You click in the top here and also you click out and click here if you want to put the other side you put the you release out click here and click out again and click here if you want to for example to make this button fill the screen you just go to the band and we have a stretch option here just gonna select stretch option and after that I click out and also choose stretch here so you're just gonna stretch this object for in the entire screen so this is a great feature using the you know the new UI system. Uh, this is just an introduction, guys, for uh, the UI system. I hope you just like this lesson. We're just gonna continue in the next part and uh, just do some uh, damage in this project. So see you in the next video, guys. Thank you again for watching.